Number 10. Lubya the Baby Mammoth A baby woolly mammoth was discovered in the Siberian permafrost, frozen in icy mud. The really remarkable thing about this baby woolly mammoth is that she was discovered in the best condition of any woolly mammoth ever, complete with internal organs, skin, and even some of her mother's milk still in her belly. Scientists named the mammoth Baby Lubya, and she has been making her rounds between museums in Russia and Australia. How old is Baby Lubya? She's 42,000 years old, and yet she only lived for 35 days. This amazing creature was first discovered in 2007 by a Siberian reindeer herder, who after the discovery went back to town to call some local scientists. By the time the scientists arrived, they found the mammoth gone. They had to track her down to a rural Siberian village, where the mammoth was discovered propping open the door of a shop. The shopkeeper had actually purchased the mammoth remains for two snowmobiles and a year of food. And unfortunately, during the mammoth's time as a doorstop, a local dog had chewed off her tail and ear. Imagine that, someone having a priceless national treasure and a couple of mutts using it as a chew toy. But luckily, scientists procured the specimen and she is now one of Russia's national treasures. Number 9. Frozen in the Alps a Swiss couple disappeared from their farm high up in the Swiss Alps during the Second World War. They were missing for 75 years before just recently being discovered mummified in a glacier. They vanished on August 15, 1942, after heading off from their home to milk their cows. They left six children at home and never returned. Apparently, they had gotten trapped somewhere on the saint Florent Glacier and froze to death. It wasn't until 2017 that the glacier had receded enough to expose their bodies, at which point workers discovered them near some newly constructed ski resorts about 8,500 feet or 2,500 meters above sea level. Along with the bodies, the workers discovered backpacks, some boots, and other interesting relics that dated back to the time of the war. The Swiss authorities got involved with the case and airlifted the remains off the mountain. They were returned to civilization and have since been properly put to rest. And, believe it or not, some of their children are still alive today. Their youngest daughter, who is currently over 80 years old, told a Swiss newspaper that none of the children ever stopped looking for their parents. And now, they can finally have some closures with the bodies of their mother and father pried out of the cold, merciless ice. Number 8. 22 Yaks 22 yaks belonging to a herdsman in the northwest Qinghai province of China fell into a frozen lake while drinking water too close to the edge and turned into icicles. This is one of the weirder incidents of things being found in the ice. All 22 of the yaks died, and the herdsman who had owned them had no idea what he was supposed to do about the situation. All he could do was call the fire department to help and the problem was so strange that soldiers actually showed up to help get the yaks out of the frozen lake. Soldiers actually had to wade into the chilling water and use fire axes and crowbars to break apart the ice and get the stubborn yaks out. Unfortunately, all the yaks were dead, but after two hours, they were at least dragged out of the ice and brought back onto dry land. I suppose the villagers ended up making use of them and eating their meat, at least. So even when tragedy befalls a group of yaks, it means plenty for the locals who live nearby. Would you have eaten it? What if they were a thousand years old? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more exciting videos just like this one. Number 7. The 1952 Alaska Crash After a military airplane crashed 68 years ago on Mount Gannett near Anchorage, Alaska, killing all 41 passengers and the 11 members of the crew, nothing was ever discovered. The airplane and the bodies rolled down from the snowy mountainside, crashed into the Colony Glacier, and were slowly buried by the ice. The crash was pretty much forgotten until a military training mission discovered a small life raft on the glacier. Then, in 2012, efforts were put forth to scour the glacier and try to discover the human remains and debris from the 1952 Alaska crash. 
As of right now, remains have been discovered from all of the victims except for nine people. But according to Captain Shelby Yalcom, who led the recovery efforts on the glacier, it could be several more years before every last remnant of the humans is found. This is because the glacier is still covered in ice, and it will still take a while before it melts enough that all the bodies can be found. So far, research efforts have discovered a Buddha figurine, a flight suit, a couple of stamps, a schedule for mass from 1952, and about 480 bags filled with frozen human remains. Number 6. George Mallory George Mallory is one of the most famous climbers who ever ascended Mount Everest. This is partly because he vanished on the peak of the Great Mountain in 1924. Nobody knew what happened to Mallory, and his body was never discovered. Of course, until 75 years later in 1999, when climbers spotted his body at an altitude of 27,000 feet, or 8,000 meters. This was on the Chinese-Tibet side of the mountain, and it was definitely Mallory, as the body was discovered with his name tag and some other personal items. George Mallory and his climbing partner Andrew Irvine are often credited with being the first ever people to reach the summit of Mount Everest, around 30 years before the first verified climbers reached the top, Sir Edmund Hillary and his climbing partners in 1953. However, George Mallory and the rest of his team were last spotted 900 feet or 280 meters below the summit. They went missing in the snow, nobody knows what happened to them, but rumor has it that they made it all the way to the top before ultimately perishing and getting lost in the ice for 75 years. Number 5. The Aurochs Horn An exceptional animal horn was recently found on a beach in Gwynedd after a series of violent storms. The horn was discovered by an engineer named Durfel Hughes, who picked the horn up and took it to some museum experts, who then figured out it likely belonged to a giant type of wild cattle known as aurochs, about 3,000 years ago. Aurochs went extinct in the 17th century, and they were some of the biggest grazing cattle that ever walked the earth. They were found all over Great Britain and all throughout Europe with the last animal reportedly dying in a forest in Poland way back in 1627. According to the informational report from the BBC, the ancient Roman Empire Julius Caesar even said that aurochs were as big as elephants, and even Adolf Hitler wanted to recreate aurochs through selective breeding to show how superior his nation's scientific knowledge really was. Basically, this animal is a legend. Nobody knows where this exact horn came from. However, it very likely could have melted out of a retreating glacier or ice sheet and then floated across the ocean until it landed on the beach. There are almost none of these horns still in existence today, so it really is a rather amazing discovery. Number 4. Anthrax Breakout at least 90 people needed to undergo hospital checks in a vastly remote part of Russia when an anthrax outbreak killed a boy back in 2016. What's really horrifying about this boy's death is that it was caused by anthrax released from the frozen ice. And not only was one boy killed, but eight other people were confirmed to be infected and 2,300 reindeer died. According to the BBC, it was a heat wave that fueled this extremely infectious and deadly bacterial disease. This is because when the ice heated up, the anthrax was released from a previously frozen reindeer carcass, which had been trapped in the ice probably around 100 years or more. It was such a dramatic event that Russian troops trained in biological warfare were sent to help take care of the emergency, and locals in the area were evacuated. And here's the science about how this works. The last anthrax outbreak in this part of Russia was in 1941. The disease typically survives as spores hidden in soil, before eventually entering an unwitting animal, usually through a wound. The only people who are at risk for getting sick in this way are those who handle dead animals, like hunters. It appears that being frozen in ice kept the anthrax alive and when the dead reindeer corpse was found, it was released back into the wild. Number 3. Warriors of the White War During World War I, soldiers on both sides were fighting in the Italian Alps at extremely cold temperatures of up to negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. 
It was a brutal battle. Men fought in hand-to-hand -hand combat, some died of exposure and hypothermia, and others were shot to death. But throughout the years of raging war in the mountains, many of the fallen soldiers became lost. It would be 100 years before the warriors of the White War emerged from their frozen tombs, with the melting alpine ice finally revealing the bodies of the fallen soldiers. And, according to archaeologists, global warming is to blame. A whole mess of mummified soldiers from Australia and other parts of the world were found inside the Presenna Glacier back in 2012, and scientists are still working to get the rest of the bodies out of the ice. Number 2. Whale in the Ice In the rural province of Newfoundland, residents discovered a dead whale frozen in the ice near St. George's Bay. It's hard to imagine a whale becoming so trapped that it actually freezes to death and becomes an icicle. After all, you would think that a big whale would be able to keep swimming and find its way to warmer temperatures. But not this time. According to local Newfoundlanders, they had not experienced such dramatic levels of ice in many years, and that may have contributed to the whale becoming frozen. A man named Brian King used his drone to capture some intense close-up images of the whale, which was located around a mile off the coast. Apparently, the whale had already been dead for a very long time, but nobody was immediately sure what type of whale it was or how it had gotten frozen in the first place. That must be a seriously bad way to go for a whale. Number 1. Ice Age Wolfhead In yet another amazing discovery out of Siberia, the head of an Ice Age wolf has been discovered in the thawing permafrost. This head is scary, hairy, and almost perfectly preserved. According to Russian scientists, the wolf head is probably around 40,000 years old, but thanks to its preservation in the ice, it still has its teeth, its ears, and even parts of its brain. This hairy beast lived during a time when woolly mammoths and woolly rhinoceroses roamed across the Great Siberian Tundra. This huge puppy would have likely fed on scraps, corpses, and small mammals. But here's the coolest part. After the wolf head was discovered and brought to a proper facility to be studied, it became clear that the wolf was far larger than any living specimen today. Its massive head was nearly 16 inches or 40 centimeters long, dwarfing that of the Siberian gray wolf, which only had a head of about 10 inches or 25 centimeters long. As for where the rest of this huge beast's body is hiding, well, nobody really knows. What's the strangest thing you've ever seen stuck in the ice? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back soon for another amazing video.